Hey YouTube, welcome back to my data structures and TypeScript series. In this video, we're going to go over linked lists. A linked list is a linear data structure where the elements are not stored in contiguous memory locations. The elements in a linked list are linked using pointers. So here we have a linked list of length 3 and some terminology. The first element in the linked list is called the head and the last element is called the tail. And the way we reference these nodes is with pointers. So 8 points to 3 and 3 points to 50. So here we have a comparison with an array and linked list, both representing the same list, 8, 3, 50. And linked lists, what's the difference, the difference between linked lists and arrays is that linked lists use pointers. So the left we have some sort of memory representation of an array and you can see that the array is stored in contiguous memory blocks whereas the linked list is stored I guess sporadically and the way we know what element is next is with a pointer so this 8 has a pointer to 3 and 3 has a pointer to 50 and 50 can have a pointer maybe back to an element stored in this so they're not contiguous so because the linked list elements are stored sporadically in the memory allocation, we cannot index into an linked list. We cannot say linked list give me the element at the third index or the second index. We can do that for the array because the array is stored in contiguous memory. We can do some calculation based off the first memory address and then add, you know, one or two memory blocks over. But here we have no way to know where the third element is. So we have our only choice is to follow the pointers. So we cannot index using bracket notation. We have to do our own traversal. When do we use linked lists? Well, linked lists can be one example in a real life situation is let's say your Spotify or your music player. You want to be able to traverse forwards and backwards and you can do that with the linked list. Another very common application of linked lists is implementing stack in queues. Linked lists have constant time insertion at the front and the head and tail, which we'll go into later. And so that's very efficient and preferred over arrays when implementing stacks and queues, which we'll go into deeper in later videos. So previously, the right here was a singly linked list because we have pointers pointing forwards, but we can also have a doubly linked list, which has pointers to its previous node. And this way we can traverse back backwards on a doubly linked list. We don't, we can, it's not, we don't, we're not limited to only traversing forwards. Here's an example of inserting an element into a singly linked list. Let's say we wanted to insert an element in between 3 and 50. Because we cannot index in between here, we have to traverse to the specific index that we want to. So if we want to insert into, let's say this is 0, 1, 2, and we want to insert in the third element, we have to insert we have to traverse to the element before it and then do some manipulation with the pointers. So here we have a current pointer pointing to head and then we traverse the linked list one at a time. And then, then we're, when we get to the node that's before where we want to insert, we set the insertion element to where the current pointer is pointing at, the next one. And then we move this pointer to point at 16. And then you can see if we follow ahead, this inserts the 16 in between 3 and 50 at the third index. Something is similar. It's very similar for a doubly linked list. All we have to do is traverse. And then instead of just pointing 16 forwards to 50, 50 has to now point backwards to 16. And then when we set 3 to 16, we have to do the same thing where 16 points back to 3. So we get that backwards reference of previous nodes. And W linked list deletion, for some reason I'm skipping some singly linked lists, uh, but it's similar. Let's say you wanted to delete three. We traverse to the node before it, and then we essentially just set this node's next pointer to the deleted, the node that we want to delete, that's next pointer. So we do that. And then even though three still points to 15, 22, 22 and 50 don't point back to three. So there's no way of referencing three. So it'll get, um, deleted by the garbage collector, or you have to manually deallocate the memory for three if you're using language like C or C++. And then if you were deleting three on a singly linked list, all you would do is just set 22.next, the next pointer, to 33.next. Three, three you don't set this previous pointer, so it's very similar. Looking at the time complexity, 
comparing the singly linked list and the doubly linked list for insertion, the times are the same. If you insert at the head, it's constant because we just have to add something to the head. We don't have to traverse the, the linked list. Same thing can be said for the tail. We can just hold a reference to the tail node and just um, insert a node at the end. However, in the middle, we potentially have to traverse n nodes, so we have to do a linear amount of work. So for both singly and doubly linked lists, it's O of n. The only difference between a doubly linked list is the overhead of storing extra pointers. So in terms of runtime, there's not any difference. In regards to deletion, however, the doubly linked list wins because it's constant, whereas the singly linked list is linear. And that's because in the singly linked list, going back to a diagram, even though we have a reference to tail, we still have to set three's next pointer to null. So since we do not hold a reference to three, we have to traverse the array to the second last node until we get to the second last node and then set that to null. So that's a linear amount of work. Whereas in the doubly linked list, since we have previous pointers, we can just set the, we can get access to the second last element or node by just taking the tail's previous node. So that's a constant amount of work. We set this, we delete these two pointers and that's why a doubly linked list deletion is linear or sorry it's constant so that was a overview of linked lists as a review if we want to access elements we cannot index into them because the elements are stored sporadically throughout the memory so we have to traverse the linked list with pointers if we want to insert into a linked list all we have to do is traverse to where we want to go and then manipulate the pointers so then the linked list acts like a linked list we want to insert into 16. If we want to update a linked list, again, we just have to access the element that we want to and then update the value. And deleting is similar to insertion where we have to traverse to where we want to go and then manipulate the pointers. So that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next video where we'll go over the implementation of the linked list in TypeScript. See you then.